Hello, my fearless music charters. Thank you so much for helping us out in this capacity. Just wanted to show you a few tricks and trade over the next couple minutes that are going to help you in your courting uh, and charting of songs. So I will always go in and put the song in. So you should have all of the details that you need uh, for the song, including a song select chart. When we're first charting songs, what I do is I download the song select chart. Um, I print this off. Personally, that's what I do when I'm charting a song. So I have it right next to me. And then I go off of this guide on where the actual uh, chord changes are and what chords they are. Note the key that you're in. This is in the key of C. So when you're charting, make sure that you're charting then in the key of C um, and that that's located in lyrics and chords. I will eventually, once we're done with our arrangement, go back and delete song select charts because we don't want our musicians to be confused when they're downloading all their music. But as of right now, we're going to need that. Remember our lyrics and chords button. There is no undo there is no back button. So whatever you do in lyrics and chords will stay forever. So if you delete a whole song, it's deleted and you have to redo it. So we'll click on um, our lyrics and chords here. And uh, like I said, so imagine I have my song select uh, sheet here. Now, one thing that song select does not do is put in measures. And so we want to make sure that we're putting in our measures as well. Um, if you can, that would be great. So there's two ways that we can chord this. So as you can see, and this is my preferred way, it's not necessarily the easiest way initially, but it is a great way to do it. It's probably the best way to do it, is you embed the actual chords in the song. So it's a smart program. So if you write intro, it recognizes intro. It'll automatically bold that stuff down the side here. And then you just write chords and it recognizes capitalized chords. And as you can see over here, they show up red. Our chords show up red. You can change that color over here and all these kind of things, but we'll leave it red for now. Um, so then we want our verse. And I typically um, capitalize all this stuff. Um, so it's pretty standard. Um, so let's see here, verse. So I'll go verse one. And then what we do is we have our lyrics. And so you embed your chords by putting in these little brackets. And the brackets are right above kind of that enter button and your semicolon and apostrophe button. So you'll see those two brackets. And anything that gets put in a bracket will show up in red above the lyrics that you put them over. So you notice that the A minor is right at the beginning of Oceans. Your A minor is going to come up in Oceans. This is really nice because sometimes there are chord changes in the middle of a word. So let's say found 10 and you want the chord change. Let's just say it's going to be a D on over T-A-I-N. Oops, got to capitalize that. Um, you'll see that there you go. It shows up over the T-A-I-N. So it shows up in the place that you actually put it within the word. This is really important because sometimes when we're charting, if you're charting in the key of C, that's one thing. But if we transpose it then to B flat, the chords are a lot longer. And sometimes they move places if we don't chart it this way. But this is how I like to do it. So you take your songs and you chart them that way. If we're putting in measure marks, I put that right over the enter button. You do shift. And instead of a backslash, there's a straight line there and you can do the straight line and then you do your oh, your brackets. And then you'll see, you'll see here, there we go. Now we have our bracket line. So typically what I'll do is I go over my song select sheet, I'll put in all the chords, then I go back and listen to the song and I just count one, this is in four, one, two, three, four, wherever the hit is coming, then we go in and we put our measure marks in. Another very easy way to do this that some people prefer, and it will come up because of the smart programming, just as easy. I don't know what the chords are for this song, so these are going to be wrong, but you can just put it right over the word that you want it on. Okay, so we have the word all. Then let's say we're going to do, we're um, going to put a C over the word all. Do you see over here on chorus one that it's showing up there? So then what we do is we hit return and we go and we put the chords where they're going to actually go in the song. Okay. Um, and you'll see that they show up down here and it's just as easy. So you can sometimes copy and paste from Word. So if you already have the document in Word, it will not copy and paste from a PDF. So what I would say is get your lyrics in here, go off your song select sheet, and you can chord uh, in one of these ways. One of the other quick things before the video ends is we do column breaks. You can do column breaks. You can do a tutorial on how to do bold and italics. Uh, so those are right in there. Um, make sure that the key that you're keying in, if we're doing it in C, that it says original key up here. That this doesn't say A, but then you're recording in C. So give it a try, and I'll come out with a step two video to help you with formatting your song. Have a great day.